And welcome back, guys. So in the last video, we saw how to deploy a WordPress um, site onto a DigitalOcean droplet. But right now, our site simply sits on our IP address. Now, I assume most of you guys that are watching this tutorial do want to configure this uh, to run on a specific domain name. So in this example, I'm going to be using Cloudflare and Namecheap to point my domain name at my um, DigitalOcean droplet, at the DigitalOcean server. So it's almost um, identical uh, to the way that you would do it with GoDaddy or another um, domain name provider. So in this case, here we have um, uh, we, we have the uh, domain within Namecheap. I'm going to go ahead and press Manage on the domain, kingcommerce.biz. And I have over here a uh, custom DNS uh, is selected, and I'm pointing it at these two Cloudflare uh, domains, um, anna.ns.cloudflare and odin.ns.cloudflare. What that does is every time somebody visits kingcommerce.biz, this domain name, it immediately routes the request to Cloudflare. Now on Cloudflare, I have these two uh, DNS records set up. One is an A, a uh, record pointing to the IP address that we got from DigitalOcean. I'm going to go ahead and update that now, copy and edit it and paste it in there and press save. And I also have a C name uh, where the, rec the, the record is www pointing at the domain name itself and you enter whatever domain name you have there. Okay, so what that d does pointing from Namecheap to Cloudflare to my DigitalOcean IP uh, now enables me to do something like this. Instead of telling people to go to the IP address to access the WordPress site, they can now just go on kingcommerce.biz and that will point at the exact same WordPress site that we're talking about. The second uh, reason why that's important is if we go into our IP address slash WP dash admin, going to immediately point us to kingcommerce.biz. So that's uh, the official URL of the WordPress instance. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the username and password that I entered through the command line in the last section. Okay. Remember me and log in. And this is a very important part over here. Um, you're going to want to go into the settings section and you want to change the site address from HTTP to HTTPS over here. And uh, that's important in order to be able to make updates. And I'll, um, I can illustrate why that's important over here. Let's say I try to create a new post over here, right? And I want to edit the Hello World post. I can open up something called the Developer Tools. Developer Tools. And let's say I try to, uh, as you can see, it says uh, mixed content, right? And what it says over here was um, this page was loaded over HTTPS, but requested an HTT, an insecure resource at HTTP. So that's important. What it means is that I can't actually update anything. Let's say I try to do update this. It's not going to allow me to have a look at what happens on the errors on the right side. Updating failed. You are probably offline. No, I'm not offline. I'm, I am online, but it, it keeps running this, this uh, mixed content warning. So in order to get around that, I need to go in here and don't update your WordPress address URL. Don't touch it. Only touch this part, site address URL, and update it to HTTPS. And that's pretty much the fix. I press save changes. I'm going to reload the page over here. Yes, I do want to reload it. And have a look, all of a sudden, we don't have that crazy error on the right side, which is the mixed content HTTP versus HTTPS warning. I go ahead and press um, press update this, update this, press update this, and press update. Okay, so that's cool. Let's say I go to the website and reload. And there it is, update this. It's been successfully updated, all right? So that's pretty much uh, how we do that. For, again, from Namecheap, we point to uh, Cloudflare. From Cloudflare, we have these two records, and, um, and we point that at the IP of DigitalOcean. 